So here in Taiwan, they have a high-speed rail, very similar to the bullet train or the Shinkansen in Japan. <laughs> Why does this look more romantic than Little Mermaid? <laughs> Morning guys and welcome back to Taiwan. If you've only just tuned in, we've spent the last few days exploring a place in the south of Taiwan. It's called Kaohsiung and today we're going on another mission. We're going to another city and I'm pretty sure when we first found out that we were coming to Taiwan, I completely butchered the name. Kaohsiung and Taichung. But where are we going? Because I can't even remember it now. So we're going to be catching a train this morning to Taichung. Also, breakfast today consists of these amazing steam buns we first came across in China. First time we found these in years. And it's like a pancake omelette. <laughs> Obsessed with them though. So here in Taiwan, they have a high-speed rail, very similar to the bullet train or the Shinkansen in Japan, which makes it so easy to get around the country. So on our first day, we literally flew into Taipei, which is the top of Taiwan. We're currently at the bottom and it only took us a couple of hours. So today we're jumping back on the high-speed rail and this one's about 45 minutes to get to the next city. So there are quite a lot of vending machines to get tickets from. If it's your first time buying tickets, you can just go over to customer service and just buy your tickets actually speaking to someone. But because we're here on an anywhere trip, they've pre-booked our tickets so you can actually buy your high-speed rail tickets online and then you just need to go speak to someone, hand in your booking reservation and they'll just give you your tickets straight away. Super simple. Got the tickets. We find the trains super simple to use. What we always do is we first check if the train number aligns with our train ticket. So our train ticket says 120 and this is the 120. And then you have a look on here at what car number you're in. So we're at five. So now you just walk all the way down to five, hop in your train, find your seat, done. Can you guys ever get thirsty? They literally have a vending machine on every single cart. I've worked two things out. What? Right, one is this. <laughs> two, you pull this up. This is literally the bags behind you. Oh, really? See how far I can go. Hi. <laughs> Cut yourself a break, darling. It's just winter. The honey's still sweet. It just rises. Shay Shay. Where'd you grab this from? <laughs> That is so funny. They had koalas on them. Whipped I couldn't them <laughs> out of there. Koalas are on them. I couldn't resume. It all comes back. Guys, because this is a inter-country train, toilets are super clean. I literally walk past the lady coming in and constantly cleaning the toilets throughout the time. So like you literally don't have to worry. I mean the train rides are still so short because this country is so small. But they even have like male, female toilets, even urinals on these trains. So you should be fine. And you guys know us, if you've seen any of our European travel series that we love going on trains. You rock up like 10 minutes before your train ride. The seats are super comfortable, it's relaxing, you get to see the countryside because you're actually on the ground. So it's a big thumbs up for us by using the Taiwan high speed trains. Welcome to Taichung. We've pretty much just dumped our bags off at our hotel because check-in isn't for a few more hours. But we found out something very exciting. So Taichung is actually the birthplace of bubble tea and we have found that we are staying right near the place that claims that they have invented bubble tea. That's so we're going right now. <laughs> looks busy. I see selfies in front of the milk tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Ah, thank, you. thank you. These guys have been making bubble tea the longest. And I got the original one, the pearl milk tea. Ready? That is so good. 
I didn't expect that. It's got, a, it's got coffee in it, I think. Oh, really? It's like coffee and pearls, like tapioca pearls. Mmm. But it's so good. Also, I mean, 1983, you think bubble tea's been a long, around for a long time, but not that long. It's good, right? We should have got two. I know where we're coming every single day while we're in the city. It's good, right? Yeah. Guys, we have found some boats. We were just walking along this Tai Chung Park. It's actually the oldest park in the city. And then we saw this lake and someone came over and asked us if we wanted to rent a boat. And we were like, yes. So we are now rowing. A I did not expect to do this today. We are now attempting to row a boat in this lake, in this beautiful park. So nice. Our hotel's just around the corner. We didn't expect to be doing this. It's beautiful and it was actually built by the Japanese during the time that they were raining here so it actually looks very Japanese. Also, how do you row a boat? I really am not that great at it. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> My boat is so complicated. <laughs> Why did this look more romantic in Little Mermaid? <laughs> Can you stop trying to make it look so easy? <laughs> This park is seriously so beautiful. I wasn't expecting things like this in the heart of like such a crazy city, but we are on the hunt for a certain dish here in Taiwan. We've been wanting to try it and there's a restaurant here in Taichung that serves it and we are very excited for it. It's called Xiaolong Bao and they're basically dumplings, but they're filled with soup. So it's like a special way you have to eat it, where you have to make sure that the soup doesn't burn you and doesn't all come out when you use the chopstick. So we're going to attempt to try our first Xiaolong Bao. And like starts there, goes all the way down there. Our number. It says it's going to be a 30 to 50 minute wait. Wow. Thank you. This is the green grass center. Our first ever time trying Xiaolong Bao. Are you ready? I have to be careful to not put a hole in it. Save some oh for me. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared I'm gonna pop it. Like, definitely a lot more squishy. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you. Whoa. You know when you go to a restaurant and you're so hungry and you order too much food? <laughs> It's like the best company I've ever had. Got <laughs> more food. Very much right? Wow, thank you. Why is there something underneath here? No more. No more. <laughs> So this is where the magic happened. Best dumplings ever. Man, that is a powerhouse right Look there. Look at it all. Look in the back, Steve. Look oh, wow. Right here. Oh, wow. All the piles of oh, that. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh, guys. Big up to Tai Chung. You need to eat here. Like, I know it's a bit of a wait and it's randomly inside a shopping center, but it is so good. It does. It looks like... Like New York, old school. Ready? Especially with that font. <laughs> oh wow, it's cool. Oh, it looks really cool. <laughs> I didn't expect a hotel to look like this. Oh, this is funky. Yeah. This is awesome. Wow. Does feel like a New York apartment. I tried to make like bricks on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, the window's huge. How cool. Perfect. 
Oh, the bathroom looks nice too. All right, guys, we've just checked into our hotel. We're going to be spending the next couple of days here in Taichung, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We're definitely going to do some videos showing you what to do in the city and some more tasty food. But if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye. This is already looking intense. Oh my gosh. Is Taiwan going to be the place we finally win something? And so we've come to one, we've ordered one, but the language barrier was kind of difficult. And so we've ordered something. <laughs>